soundtrack. <laughs> All of them, all of them. We have, we have a lot of stuff coming up this summer. This, uh, this summer. I guess. Uh, yeah, we have a lot of like festivals on the East Coast and stuff that we want to do, and uh, we're we're looking forward to them all. Like we just like to play anywhere and everywhere. The Sweetwater 420. Woo! <laughs> Cider was great too. Rally in the Valley. Rally in the Valley. <laughs> Tell me. Hey. hey you I think girl? it's pretty good. Say hey. <laughs> it's very diverse. Extremely, extremely diverse. It's one of my favorite things about Virginia. I think being on the East Coast, it, I don't know, even the small towns are kind of like music hotspots because they're so accessible. Um, so like, you know, you have a tiny town, you can still have, you know, a lot of music culture there. Whereas in other parts of the country, small towns don't have that because they're not as close to the things. That's true. I think a lot of Virginia like has almost like an underground thing. Like you might not hear about a music scene and not expect anything, and then you get somewhere like like Harrisonburg, for example. Yeah, when I first moved to Harrisonburg, I thought it was gonna be like just dead, just there's just gonna be nothing there. But I was like really surprised because there's a lot that happens there. Yeah. 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 Oh, man. It's like a whole way from yeah. It really is. It's a secondary Harrisonburg. I mean, it reminds us so much of that. The, the crowd has always been supportive. Uh, we've been there twice now. and um, I don't think we've paid for one drink. <laughs> yeah. That is a, a nice it's bit so of everything. It's so far out of the way, but we make it a point to get there. Never, like, I think we'll probably keep playing there for a long time. The guys, uh, the dev, uh, really takes care of us. Uh, Dan, he's a bartender. Awesome dude. Tim. Tim. What's up, Tim? What's up, How's you going, guys? What's up, Dev? I hope, I, actually, I hope everyone's doing good. I miss you. Kisses. I actually had something really crazy happen in Utica that who, never who happened. Who doesn't? Yeah, That's crazy. I had never had this happen to me before. We had, we had got done playing, and like the whole show, people were just like so into it. They were like really responsive, and they were just like going crazy. It was really cool. And then like some people showed up late that really wanted to see us. And this is like an hour after we were done, and this guy comes. And up we was, had been drinking all. Yeah, we had like the, the owner of the blast. bar. We don't want to see buying us from pickle batters. <laughs> and anyway, pizza. Yeah, he got his pizza and like. We were just drinking, and this guy comes up and got there late, and was just like, like just going off about wanting us to go back up and play the same songs again because he showed up late. And we're like, you know, I don't really know, like, you know, if, if they'd be down for that. And I was like, you know what? If you ask the sound guy, and he's cool with it, like, why not? Like, everyone was super into it, and he did, and the guy was just like, yeah! So we went up and we played like the same songs, like two of the same songs in a cover again, and everyone was just as into it. Never had that happen. Before. Can't wait to get back there. Yeah. Pause. See you soon, Utica. Okay, we can go back on that. We're gonna continue. Like we don't want to like plateau as because like, we've been on like since the band has initially started. We went on tour immediately, and then we waited a couple months, went on tour again. And, you know, like it just it's seen a kind of slow, not even slow, but it's an increase. And we want to keep that. We want to keep that. Mode, keep pushing. Going, keep working and, hard. Yeah, keep getting out of town and going around the country. And, 
keep doing that and then just working in between as much as we can just to support it until it can support us. I'd like to do a couple more tours under our belts before the end of 2014. Yeah. We gotta, and maybe probably before we even get signed to, like if that happens, to a label. We, just, we like doing it all ourselves. We make our own tools as we go. Independent and proud. Yep. DIY and proud, baby. <laughs> and don't chew me out all I did was help now my back aches with pains from the giveaway Day, beautiful, beautiful women. Girls. Oh my, yeah. oh my, oh my gosh. gosh. We're gonna only it was play college campuses. <laughs> yeah, overwhelming. Is yeah. overwhelming. We got to play with uh, some really cool bands like Magic Man. And the Fighting Jamesons were great. It was just cool to play to thousands of people. Uh, outside. We love playing outside, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Today was great too. Oh yeah, game. another great day outside. I don't think we've ever played twice in a row outside. So. Yeah. This is, yeah, I can get used to this. <laughs> yeah. Don't chew me out. All I did was help. Now my back aches with pains from the guilt weight. And don't chew me out. All I did was help. Now my back aches with pains from the guilt weight. Writing-wise, we've been messing around with a couple things, but uh, we were just trying to keep touring this album until we get tired of it and everybody else gets tired of it. But you know, here and there we'll fiddle with some things, but um, as far as new releases are going, uh, we just got picked up by this website called Feed Bands, and they uh, pick a band a month based on like uh, votes and... Uh, feedback and votes, yeah. Feedback and votes, and the, the company likes it, and they will press your uh, album to vinyl. And then they have subscribers all it's over the world service. that they'll send out. So um, they chose us, I think, for June. So they're shooting to release us, so we're really excited about that. We don't have to pay a penny. You can, uh, it's an excellent company. And, uh, they do a lot of really cool stuff for bands that you know, are all independent do yourself. It's kind of revolutionary, too, because I've never seen anything like that before. Um, it's a great website, very supportive of the bands that's on it, I think. You can buy our, uh, that record. It's coming out uh, on our website, mammothindigo.com. Which one do you want first? The best. The best. We've been a lot of really good places. Chicago. Chicago. Uh, one place that's like super, super, super phenomenal. Cool, uh, like studio apartment from this like warehouse thing in Chicago, downtown Chicago. It's so awesome. You could make as much noise as you wanted because there wasn't anything for it was miles. The only we stayed with this band named Fletcher. This British dude and his little brother and their drummer. Those great awesome dudes. Guys. Very so great cool. dudes. Well, it was really... We drank a lot of beers and slept there. <laughs> no, it was okay. There was an, there's an interesting drinking. story to this. So <laughs> the, place was, <laughs> the place was really weird because... Like, they were pretty sure that it was like mafia owned before they moved in or something because, okay, they had this suspiciously large fridge and like oh, they yeah. could like this fit place... like a body in. They had like their kitchen <laughs> no, they had was just two fridges, awesomely nice. A full like, like grill inside. inside. Yeah. There was like a secret, there was a secret passage to the apartment downstairs. There was also a hidden wall safe. And like everything was like it was this crappy old building, but everything in it was so like pristine. Perfectly. Yeah, like totally redone. Yeah. There was also this mirror that hung outside the window, so you could look into it from the upstairs and see who was at the front door. And there was this old like video camera outside of the apartment that looked down the stairs that wasn't connected or anything, but it was just really suspicious. It was a cool spot. Yeah, it was a very cool spot. Really cool people. 
What about the the worst? Mm -hmm. the worst place you can stay? The place in Illinois was pretty bad. Yeah, real bad. There were great people. The there was been condemned, just, like, yeah, it, I thought it was gonna Wait, fall was I in. For that one? There was. Uh, yeah, the people were really nice. <laughs> Uh, I would personally love to just play with the soil and the sun. And uh, Eric really likes the Beatles. I'm trying to get something going. I sent Johnny, uh, he told me to call him Johnny. I sent him an email, but I'm just waiting for him to get back to me. So, hey, Johnny, if you're watching this, I'm waiting to hear from you, buddy. Peace, man. <laughs> uh, the soil and the sun would be awesome. They're so cool. From Grand Rapids, Michigan, they're really, really, really good. It's That's where a lot of speed is from. Bunch of them, we were talking about from Chicago, they'd be awesome to tour with. They're cool guys. Music. Bachelor. Bachelor, the cool guy. Zeno. Zeno. Hey, Zeno. Doggy break real quick. <laughs> <laughs>